Hey, I'm Ben Pearson, the Roadster Tracker, and today I'd like to talk to you about a exciting thing that happened to SpaceX a couple of days ago on April 11th. And no, I'm not talking about the Falcon Heavy mission, although it did manage to go successfully and it did manage to land all three boosters successfully. But what I want to talk to you about is what happened about 90 minutes before then, and that is that SpaceX won its very, very first ever interplanetary contract. Now, of course, they've sent stuff into interplanetary space before, namely Elon Musk's Tesla Roadster and Starman, but that was done on their own dime, and it was really just kind of a, a test shot for the Falcon Heavy. So I find it fitting that they won their first real one shortly before then. And the mission that they're doing is actually a pretty exciting one. It is the DART mission, the Double Asteroid Redirect Test. And basically what it's going to do is it's going to aim at this guy, uh, the moon of Didymus, which is known as Diddy Moon, uh, just an informal nickname. It doesn't really have a real name. And it's going to hit it for science. Specifically, it's going to try to tell if we can hit this thing, if it will change its orbit both around the sun and around the asteroid that it's centering. And if by doing so, we can use this to prevent an impact to Earth. Now, how much of a velocity change is this actually going to happen? Well, it's on the order of a fraction of a millimeter per second, which doesn't seem like a lot. But over a long period of time, it can really, really add up. And one thing that I find interesting that's possible with this, although I don't really know, one of the fundamental mathematical constants in the universe the gravitational force is very very difficult to measure the reason being is you have to ha see how much gravity interacts between two different bodies of a known mass and that is not very easy to do we don't know exactly how much the earth weighs we know the product of the gravitational force and mass very well but we have a much less certain knowledge as to the uh, effects otherwise but by hitting this we can get a really good estimate of its mass and because it's orbiting another object we can have a relatively good estimate of its gravitational effect so it's possible we don't really know if that'll happen but it would be pretty neat if it does in any case this will be able to prove out a technology that could one day save the earth if we should happen to have an asteroid that's impacting it we could impact it with one of these impactors such as dart and if we do this you know several years in advance then that millimeters per second really adds up to the point where it will no longer impact earth now diddy moose and diddy moon are far enough away where they're not really going to do anything too fancy with us hitting them they're not going to be able to strike earth but it's a very interesting target and the fact that they're choosing to hit them relatively small moon of a small asteroid pair will help them to get a better estimate of everything thank you guys much for joining me here's the actual video from nasa that shows what the impact will like i'm not quite that skilled to do that in universe sandbox but yeah maybe i'll give it a shot sometime but this video is way cooler than anything i could come up with let me know whatever questions or comments you guys have and let me know what you would like to see of uh, impact in deep space for science. Take care and until next time, keep on tracking.